All right, so I'm gonna do a quick reading because I don't have that much battery life. So I wanna know who is wanting to reach out to you? Okay, we're jumping right in. Who wants to reach out to you? We're gonna go with pile one. What is pile one? Okay, this is pile one. Number 12. All right, I'm letting my nails breathe. Don't mind them. All right, let's see. What about for pile two? Who wants to reach out to pile two? Those that are gonna be drawn to pile two, one card. Who wants to reach out? Ooh, I'm getting something. All right. We have number two. Looks like some little wishies for pile two. Let me see. Can y'all see that? It's this glare girl. Isn't this fucking cute? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna call it out every time. That's my jam, okay? Girl, I almost cussed. Okay, pile three. Who wants to reach out to pile three? Okay. Who wants to reach out to pile three? One card. Oh, this carried a punch. We have number seven and we have a ma freaking snake. Okay, we have a snake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. It's power two. Power one. All right. So, yes, I'm going to scoot this in just a little bit. Go ahead, pick intuitively. Let me just scoot it in. Ask, who wants to reach out to your fine self? And why? <laughs> like, what's up? What's the giving, okay? So, let me get this. This is bothering me. I'm sorry it's bothering me. I've been trying. My little OCD is kicking in. Can you guys see better? Let me see. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, first and foremost, let's just home in on your main card. You literally got the card of communication. First of all, the, the first thing that came to mind, um, it's probably pretty obvious to most of y'all, is that I'm not just picking up on one person, okay? So I'm picking up, I feel like there has to be at least three, two to three, maybe even four, because there's four birds here, but it feels like two to three people. Um, one of them doesn't feel let me just shut up, girl. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm tell you, okay? So let me just read this to you. First of all, it says owls, but those are not owls. I'm not understanding. The owls card also indicates communication, but usually of less frivolous nature. So I feel like there are people that want to come in and, or someone, at least two of these people, they want to come in and, okay, you want to know why this is frustrating? Let me tell you. Have you ever had someone that you were talking to dating used to date broke it off with and you were like okay I just need them to be serious for once I need them to really if they're gonna come back to try to get me or if they're gonna try to reach out I need them to say something with some substance okay I need it to make sense <sighs> I've dealt with one of those before it was never anything of substance it was always just you ever met somebody that they just, they'll text you like, they'll say your name, like Rachel. And then you'll be like, yes. And they say nothing. Like, it's just like, what you doing? And you're like, didn't, <laughs> I gotta watch cousin, but didn't we break it off? Like, didn't I like just let you know prior to this that like, if you don't have anything serious to say, please just don't reach out. 
um it doesn't even have to be a love situation this is almost giving me and i know somebody's gonna know what i'm talking about whoever this is there does seem to be a distance whoever these people are there's a distance because i'm seeing you as this little house right here 222 on the clock that might be your number you seem to have been safe keeping yourself some of you guys could be on a hiatus like me on instagram <laughs> I ain't been on Insta in a minute. I know people be worried about me, but girl, it be too many eyes over there and I be feeling it, okay? <sighs> but anyway, it feels like you've been safekeeping. You've been winning in silence. You've been keeping a lot of things to yourself. You could have been someone that used to like to post your business a lot, or you might have went to a lot of people for um, clarity. There's an energy here of I've closed off the access and... I do feel like that has bothered some people. Um, there could be one person that's a little perturbed by this. I feel like whoever this is, they're super nosy. I don't care if it's love, not love. This is someone that's nosy. See, you gotta watch people like this because let me tell you about somebody like this. See, I wanted this to be quick, but no, now I gotta, I gotta cross my legs a little bit. Have you ever known someone where you might not have known it at first because that 12 is really it's really sticking out to me it's giving hidden motives you know what i'm saying um i feel like to some extent you have been the escape for other people and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little guilty of this let me tell you because um sometimes there are some people i'm just gonna be honest y'all know i like to keep it real okay real real okay there are some people on facebook that are always in some drama. <laughs> they always post their business. I always know if they went through a breakup, a makeup, when they got their first job, when they got arrested, when they feeling down, when they feeling up. And the ones where it's like a Jerry Springer show, if you know what I'm saying, I like keep up. Cause that's my entertainment for the day. Okay, yes, I know it might be a little low vibrational, but come on, especially if you're from where I'm from. <laughs> I'm from Ohio. People that's from my city, Youngstown, y'all know how it be. It's always someone in a fight. It's always a status gang up. And I might not engage verbally or with my little fingers, but I bet you I'm going to watch it. You, my friend, have pulled back your energy. And I love that. You're not giving people that access. Because what you don't know is in some way, there was somebody feeding off of your energy and i'm not gonna lie switching gears see i looked at it as more of entertainment but this to me almost feels like have you ever told a friend when you got something going on but it's not going right and all of a sudden you just hear the pep in their voice it's like girl like i just told you that i lost my job like girl i just told you that i got into a breakup girl or boy i just told you that this didn't work out for me why do I feel like that just gave you energy? Why do I feel like you just had a little pep in your step after I told you that? Pay attention. There is someone like that here that I do feel like somebody watching in the chat, you've recognized that buffoonery, that frenemy type of energy. Whoever this is, um, it feels like you've distanced yourself from them. Even if you guys are still cordial somewhat, you don't give them that same access. That person, it bothers them. But that's because they don't have their own energy source. They need to go find some business that's not yours. And I love the fact that you pulled yourself out of this. There's an energy here of like a, I pulled myself out. I don't want to give people access anymore. It doesn't even have to be that deep. It could just be, I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. I just want to, I just want to keep some things to myself. I'm feeling a little secretive. I'm feeling a little bit like I need to be alone. I need to keep what I got going on to myself. Now, others of you. That still applies, but there's this energy around you. I don't know, somebody here could be pregnant. You could have got a new house, a new car. You could have graduated. It feels like you've done something big. Or let me tell you, see, when you let so many people into your energy, um, whether it be on accident or just on purpose, trust me, I know, because look, I'm here on freaking YouTube. Why you think I'd be taking breaks? People sometimes can get so connected to you and they can feel when the blessing is about to come. They can feel that something big is about to happen. A lot of people know 
when I take a big break, when I really come back, I'm coming in hot. And then I'm gonna take a break again. So people are like, there's a lot of like, what are they doing? What are they doing? People might be asking about you, depending on the situation. Hey, have you talked to so-and-so? Hey, have you seen Pile One? Other people might be chattering about your um, accomplishments. You never know. Let me tell you. You might think, I need people to stop being naive. I have been in too many situations where I have, it, it'd be crazy. I'd be like, now how did that even happen? Like, you think that certain people wouldn't be talking about you or they wouldn't bring certain names up or you wouldn't find out that somebody knew you, but you just never know who's around, who's listening, who has connects. I've moved to a different state and then have gotten word about someone from another state. They didn't know I knew that person. They were just talking about their own stuff. And by chance, I knew who that person was. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. You just never know. So there is some chatter about you, especially my influencers. So let's see what's good and what's popping, okay. Um, I don't wanna call out zodiac signs. The 12 and the seven is here. Obviously, you know, we have that. Let me tell you how I'm reading this. I feel like you've d detached yourself from whoever these people are. Um, you got some Pisces energy. I feel like you're very, there was an intuitive nudge about these people, which is why I feel like at least two of them, maybe three, a certain amount of them. There's one that doesn't feel bad. Let me just say that. There's one of these people that doesn't feel bad. It feels like they want to congratulate you, but they know you're very locked in. Like you don't really like to talk to much people. Some of you guys could be like me. Like some people just know that, hey, you know, I know not to bother Paige unless it's something serious, okay? But they just wanna say Congratu <laughs> congratulations, check on you, see how you're doing. But then you got these other ones. And it, it's very nosy, okay? Um, two of them don't, let, let me just say this. If there's four of them, two of them feel like they're nosy for the wrong re reasons, whether it be to feed their, I don't know, whatever they're missing out on. And the other one almost feels like the best way I can compare it to is like a, a ex that's jealous and they're just like, when am I gonna see what they're doing? I need to know like how they're doing, you know, um, something like that. Or it could be a friend, ex-friend, someone that you used to be close to. There definitely was a bond in a relationship here, okay? Possibly even a contract. And then there's one that feels like they have nice intentions, they want to apologize. But I feel like if they came in and apologized, it's great that they made the gesture, but a lot of y'all were like, or would be like, oh no, oh no, we need to come a little harder than that. We need to come a little harder than that. Okay, it's giving that. And then you got this other person that feels kind of random, like an onlooker that it just is very inspired by you. They just wanna reach out to you. They wanna be in your energy. Um, they wanna say congratulations. They wanna check on you. Like this could even be like an old coworker. Look, I'm telling y'all what's going on without even flipping over the cards. <laughs> But this could even be like an old coworker, an old boss, a mentor that might have known that you dealt with anxiety, that you dealt with certain issues. It seems like they were very privy to your information at a point in time because you trusted them. Period. Thank you, Fashion Nova, for that little beep beep, okay? Thank you, little minions, for that beep beep for the confirmation, okay? So let's see, we got the Eight of Swords, the World card. Well, actually, let me start here, girl. My bad, my bad, what am I doing? Who wants to reach out? We got the Eight of Swords, that's Gemini energy. I'm gonna say signs here, but I'll let you know when I'm feeling like, oh no, this is what this feels like. But you know, this could be like a learning thing. So Eight of Swords, we got that air element, Gemini associated. Nine of Cups, we got that water element, Pisces associated. <laughs> Five of Wands got that fire element, Leo energy. Now, let me tell you what sign. Oh, no, that wasn't for y'all. I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. That was pile three. Anyway, Leo energy. <laughs> pile four, the Emperor, okay? That's major. That's Aries energy, okay? So, ooh, that's so crazy. Someone just wrote me and they said. Oh, she was telling me thank you because I said congratulations on her baby. And her name is Rachel. So someone's name here could be Rachel. Um, let me look at this Eight of Swords. You know what's funny? Now, for those of you, this is going to be a long read. I can already freaking tell. Longer than what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be 10 minutes per pile. But 
we're getting juicy, okay? I'm in it, I'm in it to win it. This Nine of Cups, for those of you that read tarot, there could have been someone that you used to pull cards on. You ain't gotta tell me, <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me nothing. The Nine of Cups came up a lot for this person. This to me, whoever this is, I feel like they could be very selfish, okay? There is someone here that is used to being in a dominant position. Um, they're used to being in control and I feel like you removing yourself from them has given them this energy of not having control over the dynamic. Um, there seems to be some jealousy here around who you're engaging with. You know what? Let me just say this. There is some jealousy, I do feel like, with a couple of these people. Whether it's meant to come from a really strong place or not, there's a lot of like, well, why won't Pile One give me the time of day? Why won't Pile One talk to me? Why won't Pile One reach out to me? Who this person is, also, I'm going to be naming different uh, people because there's multiple people here. Um, whoever this is, they're very scared to come to you. There is intimidation here. I feel like this is something that they've been pondering on for a while, but they get in their head a lot. And it's almost given me, um, they don't have that follow through. They, I feel like whoever this is, they've written up messages. They've tried to muster up the strength to say something to you, but then pride gets in the way or just the fear takes over. Also, y'all got divine protection. <laughs> y'all do, because y'all don't know. So for some of y'all, like y'all might've recently posted you and the new baby, okay? You might have recently posted an accomplishment because this Nine of Cups energy is also on the flip side telling me that you guys are very independent, that you've been doing things, you know, by yourself. You've been handling yours, okay? You might have even started that business you said you were always gonna do. That could also be making some people feel a way. They're like, dang, Power One is really doing that. Like, they, they always said they were gonna do it, but they're really doing it, okay? Y'all might have been drawn to Pile 3, I think it was, in one of my last readings. The, the one that's listed as 18 plus, it really wasn't 18 plus, but YouTube made it 18 plus, so I had to say 18 plus, okay? They act like you can't say a little D, I, C, and you know the rest without, you know, getting demonetized. But anyway, <laughs> with this Nine of Cups, so I, I'm picturing somebody like, okay, Let's say what name you want to give me. Oh, there's a Kiana or a Keenan or a Kyrell, something like that. Okay, let's say, I'm going to just use my cousin's name. His name is Kaylin. Let's say Kaylin is wanting to reach out, but they're trying to muster up the strength, right? <laughs> so they're trying to check the temperature. There's a lot of trying to check the temperature. Is this the right time? <laughs> let's say they finally get the energy to reach out. You didn't know this, of course, but then, I don't know, as soon as they were about to reach out, how funny is it that maybe 15 minutes ago, because let's say they want to um, reach out on Facebook or Instagram, but what it shows is that 15 minutes ago, you posted a post on Insta or on Facebook or whatever little platform you use, Twitter, okay? And it was some type of accomplishment or something that made this person feel even more intimidated. Okay, I feel like for some of you guys, you might have posted you being out with other people, you dating someone else, you starting a family, your business. This could even be an energy. Some of y'all recently unblocked somebody. Maybe not even with the with the um with the hopes of trying to contact them. It was just like, okay, I'm over this. I don't even feel like having you on my block list. Just go away. Okay. Um and it's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny, this is sad. Because, okay, let's get into it. This is kind of juicy. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny. I think this is something, if you knew about this, this would be funny. Because this feels like there, there's also, everybody's doing the same thing here. They're checking in with you. So there's this energy, no matter who it is, of when they see you shining, Let's say if you're on Facebook and you haven't posted no statuses about being sad. Even if you are over there down and depressed. Let's say you just been sharing funny memes, talking to people. Things been looking grand dandy, you know? People be wanting you to be in a place of chaos. Maybe they don't want to see you in a place where you're doing super well for some of these people. It intimidates them. I don't know why they're so invested, but they are. People are like this, okay? They, they're a lot of their control. Um, I mean, they might be like this with people, period. 
but something about you not really being in the best place I don't know it gets them going and let me tell you because some of y'all that might sound super evil and it low key is but think about it I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done this before I feel like I've probably done this before even if you're doing grand dandy spectacular have you ever had an ex and I know you have because honey I've done a couple readings where I've had to tell y'all how y'all ex was doing good I've had to tell you have you ever had an ex 17 17 on the clock where it's like they might have dogged you out. So, of course, you don't want to go to their page, you know, that moment of weakness that you have. And you go check it out. You know, you do it sometimes. And they see, you know, you find out they're in a relationship. They not down and depressed. They doing good just like how you are. Or at least that's how it looks. Now you mad. Now you irritated. Now you thinking about all the stuff they done did. Now you about to come to me and come get a reading and see what their karma is because you just don't feel like it's coming fast enough. That's what this is giving me. <laughs> Regardless of whether <laughs> you were on the side where you didn't do nothing wrong or whether you did. Okay. <sighs> These people are very competitive for your attention. So let's see why they want to reach out. The world card. That's giving me an accomplishment. This Nine of Cups energy, Four of Pentacles. This, these are two, these are two cards that are together. Okay, someone feels like let me just say this: there's someone that feels like they were super selfish and they want to apologize for what they did. Someone could have went silent on you. Let me turn this up. Someone could have went silent on you. This doesn't have to be love. It could be like anybody. It feels like there was a quick disruption of communication they kind of backed off they might have even kind of got a little bit too invested in their own life you know what happens but something occurred here where whether you took it to heart or not you felt kind of like like dang like they ain't have to do me like that or like where they at or like why did it feel like they only come around when they need something it just feels like they disappeared at a time that just it was convenient for them but not obviously convenient for you they want to apologize someone wants to reach out to you and apologize for how they've been too busy um for others of you it's because they've been super selfish and they want to say I, I apologize for being selfish i apologize that i've been doing so much or spending so much time with these people or at work i know i haven't been able to check in i know i haven't really been able to check on you they want to apologize for that there's definitely someone here that is feeling some type of way about how they treated you as well. Okay, but this really feels light. Now with this world card, I feel like there are a lot of people, some of you guys are social media influencers. There's this energy of wanting to congratulate you, wanting to be in your energy, wanting to say like, hey, you're doing great things, wanting to reach out because you've just made some big accomplishment, but they're scared. I also feel like, like I said, if you're an influencer, there might be a lot of people that have crushes on you that want to talk to you, but they're scared. They feel like they're going to be rejected. You probably got a couple of DMs from them already and your DMs just sitting there just collecting dust. But they want to reach out to say congratulations. They want to see what's up. They want to know what's going on in your life. Now, you got this combative energy. Whoever this is, I feel like they want to reach out. It doesn't feel like to make peace. If anything, it just feels like to bring the noise. They don't like the fact that you are not giving them the same energy, whether it be verbally, whether it be energetically, or whether it be just what you post, what they're able to feed off of. You seem to be too much in your power, so they want to come and disrupt that. I want, you, I want to tell you this. They ain't learned a dang thing. If this judgment was upright, that would let me know that they are reflecting. They regret what they did. This person don't regret what they did, okay? They don't regret it. So um, I need you to know that. This is someone that will come back around just to prove a point. <laughs> just so they can be back in the emperor position, okay? Let me see. Who is this person that is like bringing this negative energy that they need to be aware of? Who is this person? They want to reach out. It's, they don't have good intentions. Who is this person? North Node. We have Taurus. Okay. Uh, if y'all know, this is not going to be for everybody, but if y'all know what... This person could be a Libra or on the cusp of a Libra and a Scorpio. But anyway, if you do not know 
what your north node is there's something about if you were to go to your chart and go look at what your north node is that might be this person's sun sign for some of y'all for others of you this is an aries or a taurus okay um it's funny though because they want to be a part of what you got going on in the future I don't know why this person feels upset that you've disconnected and it's crazy because I did see the bottom and the top cards and I know one of them is the ten of swords yeah you've been making stuff shake on your own but whoever this is is crazy because they really want to be in your life two 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 I'm sorry twenty two twenty two on the clock but it's like you've decided that I'm good without them so some people or whoever this person is this might be someone you disconnected from and at first you might have or no maybe they got confused i had a couple people like this i'm like girl you i don't need to be friends with you if anything you were leaning on me you leaving would give me a little bit more room to shake and do what i need to do they're starting to realize that you really never needed them in the first place and that's making them feel some type of way so this person got a lot of validation from being around you being connected to you they could be feeling very entitled to your success um that's an issue for me forget them i'm not feeling it more who is this person just so they know who is this person one more card of who this person is get it clear a fire sign specifically a leo this is someone who pride is through the roof okay this could be the father of your child I'm seeing that here. We also got this emperor right here. Um, pride is through the roof. It's through the roof. They could also be very immature and childish, okay? They um, spend money very quickly. Um, I also feel like they like to flash and be flashy, but really behind closed doors, honey, they be, it, it be like, what do you really got going on? This is the type of person that would buy like a gold chain and this and that, a certain car, but rent would be passed due. Mm, get him out of here and then we have this emperor and this queen of cups now there's someone that i feel like actually wants to come back into your life they want to apologize this could be a feminine energy or this could even be um a certain masculine i'll be quick about this this feels like this could even be a collaboration there's respect for your power or there's respect for where you are now. I, I really kind of see this as an old friend, an old female friend that wants to come back around and be in your life. Whether you should let them back in or not, totally up to you. But it seems like for whatever reason, they've came across your name or your page and they're wanting to reach out. Their pride has been getting in the way, but they do want to reach out to you, okay? Um, and it feels like to apologize, to exchange some type of like feeling of like, care okay they want to you know be back together be back friends who is this who is this queen of cups i do feel like this could also represent a relationship you once had um and it doesn't even have to be necessarily y'all being in a relationship this could be like somebody wanting to make peace with you that's what it feels like they feel really bad about how they treated you they're seeing you as the queen of cups that's why they want to reach out someone could have had the wrong idea about you there could have been a relationship where y'all brought the worst out of each other, but now they're seeing your softer side and they want to reach out. Now, I ain't saying you should take them back, but I just want to let you know. Capricorn. Ain't this Capricorn or is that Sagittarius? Hold on, girl. I'll be forgetting. That's definitely Capricorn. This person could be in the military because the VA is calling me. Why are they calling me? Eh. Do I want to answer? I don't really want to. Kill Bill. That is coming through. That's crazy that my, my camera's about to die. This might be the end of the reading. So Capricorn, his energy is coming through heavily. We also got the South Node here. Someone from the past. They want to come in and they want to apologize. They, I think they really want to be around you. Let me see. Do they want to be with ya? Let me pause this really quick. Oh, we got to be quick. What, what do they, do they want to be together? Eight of Cups. I feel like they just want to make peace. Something that they did to you is really weighing heavily on their mind. They feel like if they apologize, stop calling me, VA. They feel like if they apologize, it would help clear their conscience. They have been struggling since whatever they've done to you. And they feel like this will help them get closure so they can move on. 
and maybe for some of y'all they they want to see what they can do depending on y'all situation this is going to depend on like a friendship or determine whether this is a friendship or a relationship or something of that nature okay so yes y'all let me just show y'all these so y'all can read these boom so yes pile one that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and i'll see you down below in the comments uh-uh pile two <laughs> you don't understand what i just went through the craziest thing I had lost my SD card, but it was like, it's one thing to lose something and be able to backtrack. No, it was like I absentmindedly lost this. I didn't even remember taking the SD card out this whole time. It was right here, but I couldn't see it. I don't know. I don't know. But I was like looking everywhere. I swear, I, girl. Let me tell you, whoever wants to reach out to you, you have them all tore up, okay? All tore up. Whoever this is, they love you, okay? They love you. I'm already gonna tell y'all, y'all reading is not gonna be long because I tapped into the energy very quickly. First of all, I was getting heavy Sagittarius energy when I first um got into the spread like in the beginning when i was shuffling let me see what that was at the bottom we have the universe and we have fifth house wisdom not fifth house wisdom girl we got wisdom let me get myself together so someone's definitely thinking about you from a distance this person could have flower tattoos they could be a tattoo artist they could be an artist period they could be very forgetful they lose a lot of things um oh, they're very sad without you let me tell you what this feels like just off rip this feels like an unfortunate ending like something that had to end but you didn't want it to um this feels like an unfortunate misunderstanding that caused a separation or caused a breakup to happen or caused a break to have to form it feels like some of you guys might feel like this was necessary but there's like it feels very harmful to both parties as far as like how it's making both of you guys feel this person definitely feels like you're their one you're their good luck charm you're their special person i'm literally getting that one song it was like a peanut butter jelly song or they said peanut butter so, something you're the peanut butter to my jelly you're my someone's gonna know what i'm talking about you're my dun 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 Da, 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 da. but not even just that song there's another song it's not tank tank is coming through for whatever reason oh man that song i ain't heard that um song in a long time and i can't even think of what it's called yeah my phone right here let me get it because i used to listen to this song let me see if i could find it because it's it's going away at 111 on the clock but um whoever i'm talking to um, one of you guys is a little bit more serious than the other, <laughs> or someone here watches Zeus Network. Like, you could be the, the crazier one, so to say, and then your person could be more chill. But give me a second. There's a song. That's how it starts off. I know it doesn't help. But that might be Tink. Oh, I'm thinking of Perfect 2 by Auburn. Mm -hmm. someone's gonna know what i'm talking about they feel like you're a part of their family now some of you guys this is love some of you guys this is a friendship they feel like you're a part of their tribe they see you they recognize you um whether they told you this or not i'm telling you they do it feels like something unfortunate happened that kind of led you to put up a boundary maybe this person put up a boundary but i feel like a lot of y'all put up a boundary and they're wanting to reach out, but they're like, I, I want to respect pile too. So let's see, who is it? <laughs> we have the two of swords, mental conflict. Whoever this is, they can be up in their head quite a bit. Okay, we got a lot of air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I'm also getting cusp energy, a Pisces. Um possibly leo for some of you guys <sighs> let me just keep going and then we have recognition and reward 
whoever this is I feel like they could be an artist they could be someone that does something that's very creative something that's a little offbeat from like corporate um, they have a really big vision that's who this person is their mind I feel like this is someone you love their mind they have a lot of depth to them this person could also be very emotional but most people wouldn't know that but you will it's almost giving me like someone it's giving me like Pisces energy, but also Aquarius energy. Cause I'm thinking of like my cousin, someone's name could be Paris here. Um, they can seem like they're very logical, but they're, they're emotional. He's emotional. <laughs> Love him. This person could have a bald head. Um, let me keep seeing this. This person, whatever they do for work, I feel like they have some type of recognition for what they do to, for work. Sorry if my energy seems a little bit low. I did just run around this house like a crazy person. But I also feel like this person's energy is low. Um, but it seems like they have a lot of respect. People respect their craft. People respect their artwork. People respect them. I also think this person is very attractive to most people. This could be the father of your child. This could even be someone that you're currently with and y'all had to kind of take a break. It feels like a boundary was put up, whether you blocked them, whether you told them, like, I need some space, whether you told them, look, I just can't do this right now. Um, to a source could have been some type of standoff, ultimatum. There feels like there's something going on here and they hate that it's happening. They do, but they want to respect your space. I feel like this is someone who has went through a lot of childhood trauma at some point in time um they're they're really focused on trying to elevate themselves this could be someone that has a hard time feeling confident in their own abilities even though i'm seeing their abilities here um especially if this is a masculine they might feel like maybe compared to you they don't stand tall enough they want to stand taller for you or maybe this is something that's deeply rooted um, it could be stemming from the mother. Let me just see something really quick. Fourth house, yeah. This is definitely stemming, I feel like, from their mom. That's interesting. Something has happened here that has played a part in their self-esteem and just how they view themselves. I really feel like they could have a hard time speaking up, sharing their emotions. They have very, very deep values with um, just what they want in life, where they want to be. Um, financially, uh, they have like a, a certain goal with this recognition and reward. And I think you might know about that. This person could struggle quite a bit with their craft. This could be like, this almost reminds me of someone who might be going through a creative block that's trying to like get out of that stuck energy. This person is trying to reground themselves. Now, why do they want to reach out? Partnership and alliance. I mean, y'all, they want they want to be around you. I'm telling y'all though, but for some of y'all where you had to like break it off or a break off happened, whether they did it or you did it, whoever set the boundary, they're like, I'm trying to respect the boundary because, oh, that's so crazy. I just homed in on these race cars in front of me. There's this little big box of race cars and it says HW Ultimatum Game. Or, or no, it doesn't say ultimatum. It says ultimate game. But it looked like ultimatum. So an ultimatum could have been made or someone could have needed to separate so that someone could have a clearer head. You know how it be. You want to break up with someone and then, you know, get them to see your value. You're like, okay, well, if you're not going to do this, then I'm done, you know. And you had to stand your ground or they had to stand their ground. So there's a lot of, like, I'm trying to stand on that because I know if I um, prematurely come back to this or if I overstep... It's going to be disrespectful as far as like, I'm going to be disrespecting your boundaries. There's a lot of like, I don't want to disrespect what you have going on. And plus there's possibly this knowing of like, it would just cause more issues because it's just not ready yet. But whoever this is, they love you. They really care about you and they want to reach out. Like, let me just tell you, I don't know if they will because it seems like a boundary was put up. But if they could, like, they just want to be with you. They just want to be together. They just want to be in peace. They want to be friends. They want to work together. Like, they want that companionship with you. Partnerships and alliances. Look at this. We have the Eight of Wands. They want positive move, movement forward. For some of you guys, I don't know. The break might have did something or it might end up doing something, okay? Um, but whoever this is, and I think that's why that Sagittarius energy was coming through. This is like a knowledge seeker type of person. 
very expansive type of mind. They could even be free spirited, that free spirited ass energy coming through here. And it could be hard to tie this person down, especially if they have specific beliefs, ideals, and just perspectives. It could be very hard to tie them down, but I will say they seem to be very loyal to you and to whatever it is that you guys have going on. But you know, of course, you know, listen to your intuition, girl. Now, if this is an abusive connection, honey, don't be over here trying to force it go find you a different pile but yes i see that here this is where it got heavy okay we got leo with the eighth house patience with um not the eighth why do i keep saying the eighth house we have leo with the strength card um we also have patience which is going to be that sagittarius energy so temperance we have the five of pentacles, obstacles and challenges, the two of pentacles, the waiting game, the five of wands, conflict and defeat. This could even be the five of swords. I think this might be the five of swords. Five of swords, either way, it's a five. And you know, five is hectic energy. And then we also have the nine of pentacles. Exactly what I just told y'all. There's like a standoff happening here. Um, it almost feels like a, a break happened for a specific reason. Um, let's just say y'all broke up with somebody and you did it because you felt like the relationship wasn't progressing. You wanted to give an ultimatum. This person could ag agree with you in some way, or they could just know that just where you two are at the moment, it, it made sense for why you did that, but they didn't like it. You know what I mean? Because they still care about you. They still want to be with you. They still want to invest in you. They're still very much so invested in you. Um, and they want the, the big picture with you. That's what it feels like. However, you know, whoever this is, pride is still a, an issue. Pride is here. Um, not even that. They're just trying to be strong. They're like, at the end of the day, I know this might have been the best thing for us at this time. Because this is almost giving me where two people had to disconnect because we're going in different directions or we seem to be going in different directions. And sometimes you have to do that separation to realign possibly with each other. You need that little break period or possibly to go elsewhere. But um, don't think that this person is not struggling. I feel like whoever this is, they're trying to get their money together. So I don't know. I don't think they're gonna reach out depending on your situation because they wanna respect the boundary, especially if they said it. They're like, I need to respect this boundary. Um, I need to stand on what I said I needed, especially if this person's like, I need to work on myself. They're very focused on, I don't even wanna say self-preservation, but getting themselves together where they feel stable, confident, they're trying to work on their craft. Um, they're trying to reach a certain level of mastership in what they do. This could even be a raise, a promotion, because it feels like there could be some um, blockages here. Like I said, some things follow this person that affect their self-esteem. But also, this is like real world. Like This could be money. This could just be them getting in their own head. Um, this could be past relationships. There's a lot of noise. It's almost giving me like my little Buddha. There's too much noise and the person cannot focus. So I feel like they're almost like, okay, I'm going to let them have their time. I'm going to give myself my time. I'm going to just try to be patient and get myself together because no matter how bad I want this person, for whatever reason, it just does not seem to be the time for us. Even though they want this, it feels like this is something that they still want, whether it be now or in the future as far as right now, but they're recognizing that. just This is just very mature recognition around, I just know it's not the right time and I know I have things I need to work on. Um, there's other things I could be focusing on right now instead of, um, I don't even want to say moping on about this because they're definitely moping, but they just recognize that they have things that they need to focus on. So they're trying to refocus their energy on just rebuilding their foundation. But do they want to reach out? Absolutely. They definitely do. Okay, let's see. Can you tell me who this person is and just some other details? We got heavy Leo, Sag, Aquarius. Let me see. Who is this person? Sagittarius. We got Aries. We got Aquarius and Aquarius. So, yeah. This, to me, is giving me soulmate energy. We got 11-11. I know y'all see that. 
we got 11 11 and then we got these two fire signs so regardless of whether you guys are fire signs or whether you guys are aquarius or whether you whatever you know there's just this energy of you're my wish you're my desire um this is someone that's very close in your network um for some of you guys if this is a platonic situation this could be an older sibling <sighs> this feels like somebody when you think about what you want expansively when you think about what you want in the future and even for this person when they think about what they want in the future what their long-term goals are you're a part of you're a part of that i love this because this is definitely giving the perfect two do you see the 11 11 and the aries and the sagittarius energy all that fire fire and that air air it's a match but at the end of the day well i don't i'm gonna shut up i ain't come here to be given advice I need to stay on topic, P. Yeah, that's who it is. This could also be a friend. I I didn't even say that because with the 11th house, you know, this could be a best friend, a friend. Yeah, they're wanting to... Whoever this is knows that they need to get their life together. And they're trying to do that. And I think that's one of the reasons. Like, you ever want someone to come back and chase you, but... You know damn well if they was to come back right now, nothing really would change. There's something about, like, I know I have to do something different for myself. I know I need to focus on myself. I know I have things I need to clear up, work on. And depending on why y'all separated from this person, especially, you know, if it's a relationship, that's one thing. But if this is a friend that kind of just had to get their stuff together, and you're like, look, I got I to gotta take a step back um, because you're kind of draining me. This is uh, taking a lot on me. I don't feel like there's reciprocity here. Um... Yeah, they recognize that. And they, they really are trying to do better. They're trying to get better, do better. And they do really love you and they do really care about you. I just want to say that. Dang. So, yes, Pile 2, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and I'll see you down below in the comments. We in the bed like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> we in the bed like, that's what this is giving. Instantly y'all <laughs> instantly when i saw this card and i just got into y'all energy let me tell y'all this is either super sexual attraction type energy or this is some spiteful energy i'm picking up on two different people someone Cause I'm getting a song, buy you a drink. I'ma buy you a drink. Oh, y'all know that song, T-Pain? Yeah. It's giving that. Someone wants you. They've been watching you. They're ready to pounce. But this is also giving deception. Okay? Now, every time I say that, I didn't even mean to say it like that. I think of deception. <laughs> Disgrace. Hmm. Mm, deception <laughs> disgrace <laughs> I'm sorry it's giving Lion King dang dang let me read this I'm like let's read this together look at them freaking nails a mess Whoever these people, two people are that I'm picking up on, very enticing energy. One, I don't like their energy. The other one seems like someone that's like a secret admirer. That's like, whoo, I'm ready to jump them bones, okay? This other person, they given exactly what this book says. <sighs> Let's read it together. It says, watch out for me because I'm always hiding. You can never trust or believe me. I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are reading. My fangs will surely have you. Oh, I'm sorry. Why did I say reading? <laughs> Be careful where you are treading. I forgot the T. My fangs will surely have you dreading. This, to me, is a fatal attraction. The other one, you know, this is the thing. It's a fatal attraction regardless of how you flip it, rub it down. Um, it's just, is it the good kind? where you take a risk because you know the, the tension is there and you're like yes let's do this I know what I'm getting myself into taking a red flag making it a six flag you know what I'm saying or is this somebody you better ask somebody is this somebody 
that you know you have no business messing with, that you used to mess with, is it? Whoever this is, this is a slick Rick. This is giving slick Rick energy. Okay. Hold on. The game of hope makes it clear to stay far from the bite of this dangerous snake. Let me look at this. Mmm. Quite literally a B-I-T-C-H-Y, best friend, meaning you harm. Ooh, this could be a best friend. Well, no, no, no. It said if a dog is next to it. Okay, so that's fine. Someone here. Uh, let's just get into the reading, girl. I just, mm-mm. Something not right. Something ain't right. Take your time and just vibe with the cards while I shuffle them through. This person's slick. Why am I thinking, have y'all watched uh, Who Cloned Tyrone? <laughs> I'm thinking of the character Jamie Foxx played, but I keep wanting to say slick like Rick. This person could be heavily into music because you know what song just came to me? I can't even think of it. It go like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Someone's gonna know what I'm talking about because it's a beatboxing song. Hey, talk, talk. I don't know what he said. Six fifty or six fifty something. Six fifty or something. Dougie Fresh, y'all. Uh, 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 a piece of gum. It don't matter. It's slick. It's giving slick. And I literally just got that, um, <laughs> Lord. You know what I just thought of? A banana in a uh, Mario Kart? Mm-hmm. This person could also be a gamer. <sighs> Not me thinking of anime. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's, let's see who this person is. I had to do a live pool. Who wants to reach out? <laughs> oh, he said six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, your own. I'm about to listen to that song. <laughs> I'm about to listen to that song. Okay. Who wants to reach out? I just heard pay attention because y'all intuition might speak sooner than mine does. Um, who wants to reach out to my pile three? Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Eight of Swords. This person could actually, y'all could have been drawn to pile one, two. This person could have showed they, they, mm, they, mm, 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 they, a, mm, mm, mm. Or, no, that would, that would be too many letters. They, a, mm, mm, okay, in pile one. Let me see, who is this person? That was a little much. That was a little much. Okay, I need to calm it down, bring it back, slow it down, P. This person, they move very fast, but they're slick. They're dangerous, they're like a snake. Ooh, not me getting that one song, I don't wanna get canceled. Move your body like a snake, mm. Mm, they could be a life path number five. <sighs> really big on pleasure. Sometimes they can indulge too much into it. Who is this person? This is definitely someone you're not dealing with now. I got Gemini energy, Scorpio energy. Who is this person that wants to reach out to pile three? They see you like a meal. Like if you ever watch a snake in a meal, like whatever its meal is, that's how they watch you. I don't like this energy. Unless this is someone trying to date you, not really, they, it don't even seem like date. It's probably given like a one night or like a, a little sneaky link, whatever. But this other, I don't know, it's very, it's primal, but it, it's like very, I don't like it. I don't like their energy. I don't know if I like their energy. I don't know. Let me see. Who is this person? This person actually struggles with anxiety. They could cover it up by drinking. We got Pisces energy. Okay, so we have Gemini, Pisces, and Scorpio. 
whoever this is, this is someone that I feel like you've walked away from. Okay, for some of you guys, this is someone, let me just get these two people out the way. There's one person that I feel like you see when you go out or they see you go out, like they've been in the same vicinity. Maybe y'all have a mutual network of friends. They might not have made they move on you yet, but drinks was involved. They're waiting for a point in time for you to kind of just be by yourself. You might always have an entourage around you. This is just given like at the club, you know, they're waiting for you to kind of be less intimidating and maybe when you always have your friends around they feel like they can't really get to you but there's a split second I don't know where you kind of you slip away you want to go to the bar you're like hey can you make, make me a drink while your friends are on the dance floor and then they come over and they slither it's giving slither <laughs> have y'all ever seen uh, Housewives of Potomac <laughs> I sauntered I didn't slither but anyway I'm sorry <laughs> woo um yeah, this person slithers their way over to you and then they try to make their move, okay? Whoever this is, although they're very suave, they they do have insecurities within, okay? Now let's jump over to the second person. Again, although they are very suave, this is someone who is actually pretty insecure on the inside. Um, they could struggle with anxiety, they could cover it up by drinking, or indulging in something it does feel like it's drinking this person could actually turn into a whole nother individual when they drink they could be a love bomber when they drink um, they could even get more social when they drink they use drinking to like alleviate the stress of whatever anxiety comes about um, in everyday life this person I feel like is someone you know who I just thought of? This is given Common. So if y'all know who Common is, he's Common, okay? Look him up. So y'all know they always say Common, um, you know, he ain't never got nobody pregnant. He's he's one of those people. Common is like, or at least Tasha K said this. Tasha was like, Common is like the Lori Harvey or like the male version of Lori Harvey. It's like, this is a person, no offense to Lori, I don't know her, but it's like a person where it's like, they never fully commit themselves to anyone. And they have specific reasons why they come around, whether it's to help their self image, stroke their ego or whatever. That's how this person's, that's how this person feels. They don't move for other people. They're really big on escapism. They don't really do well with like facing things head on when it comes to like emotional stuff. And I feel like that's why they drink or they indulge in certain vices to get them through that. So let's see why they want to reach out, girl. Why do they want to reach out? I see you over there looking good. Some of you guys are in a new relationship and they just want to, oh, messy, to be messy. But anyway, why do they want to reach out? Look at this. These cards keep going in. I saw the Ten of Cups and I saw the King of Swords, but it didn't come out. This person is very prideful. This is someone who checks the temperature before they pop in. I just seen 10, 11, and 11, 11, okay? Um, or 11, 10, and 11, 11. They got something that they want to say, but it's very... Let me see. Why do they want to reach out? They have something that they want to say. What do they want to say? For some of y'all... Mm -mm. This, okay, can I be, look, I told you, five of swords. They don't want nothing good. <sighs> the best way I could describe this is, this is petty. This can come in many ways. Whoever this is, they, they're not coming bearing gifts, okay? And if they are, they're doing it in a malicious way so that they can slice and dice later. They're trying to get ahead. I don't know if you broke it off with somebody. I don't know if right now you have the upper hand. I was just talking about this in pile one. But this person, they feel like they want to come in, like the smooth operator, try to get you going again, and then they're just going to release. They're going to cut you. They're just going to remove themselves. You know what else I see this as? I don't like this energy. This is a messy energy. So let's say this isn't love. Knight of Swords. This is someone that can't hold water. They act like they're loyal to you, but behind your back, they're talking about you to other people. They're sharing your secrets with other people. That was a switch, wasn't it? That's what I'm saying. This hanged woman. This also tells me, going back up here, this is someone that barely knows themselves. Okay? They don't feel firm enough 
or my ears just start ringing, okay? They don't feel firm enough in themselves and they have a hard time with their identity and this is just giving like a fake friend, a phony friend, or a phony somebody. Whoever this is, let me tell you, if they reach out to you, they know how to, listen, this person is very manipulative, they're very strategic, okay? There's a lot of air energy here too. Let me give you these signs. Let me tell you what this person has to be. A Pisces, a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Taurus, Leo. Once they're fixed on a specific goal, that's it. And it's very self-focused. This is, let me tell you, because I'm trying to say it, but I don't know why it's having a hard time coming out. This person, for somebody here, they're coming in to get information from you. Be very mindful of who you talk to about your information. They want to get information from you. And they're not going to do good things with this information. This is like a prior, a spire, okay? That's what this is giving. And whoever they be talking to with this five of swords, these other people don't like you either. This is like a frenemy type of energy. <sighs> You know I don't like that. <laughs> you know I don't like that. Four of Cups over here in this Page of Pentacles. Let me tell you something. If this person, oh, they have a way of trying to come in and make it seem like they're for you. They are not. They're not for you. I just have to keep saying that. Let me see if I can get some more insight. Can you tell me specifically who this is? How will they know who this is? Why does that keep doing, going like that? This person could also have a business. They have a hard time being, if they're not number one, they just have a hard time. Oh, let me tell you something. This is either a messy ex that just don't know how to lose, be a fair loser. Somebody here don't know how to be a fair loser, okay? Um someone else here there's jealousy here around like this is almost giving me catty energy like um especially if it's two females like i don't know this person is used to being the one on top they're used to being in control they're used to having the power and if they don't have that if they don't have a way to infiltrate they're gonna come and try to do it whether this be by getting information about you or whether this be to gossip or whether this be to gossip and then come to you and be like, oh my God, I just wanted to tell you like there are some people talking about you. And then you'd be like, what? They was talking about me? Oh my God, thank you so much for telling me that. Yes, you know, I would always tell you that. Um, by the way, do you want to meet up for lunch next thing you know? You being back friends with them. But the whole time, honey, they was talking about you too. It's messy. Who is this person? This is definitely someone that you broke bread with, was friends with. Yeah, this is someone that you have history with. That's all I can really tell you. This is someone that you have history with. You have to watch this person. If you don't know who this is, honey, I just don't know what to tell you because it's very blatant. It's very blatant, okay? Let me see if there's anything else. <sighs> Shark. This could be a social media, um, HOE, okay? Um, it's like they they love getting attention from other people, even if it's not genuine. They're like a attention, you know, H O E or W H O R E. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's giving. Ugh, nasty. Nostalgia. Definitely someone from your past. You guys could have actually went to some type of bounce around with each other. This person could be into stocks. They could be an accountant. Um, they could always brag about how much money they have. Um, they could have a track record of not really being able to keep friends. This person could also have a long list of people that they used to, you know, you know, do the do with. Um, they have somewhat of a reputation. I also feel like this person is an opportunist. If girl if y'all don't know who this is and y'all still think this person is genuine or like if you do know who this is and you still think this person is genuine we have bigger problems and we also have alligator exactly the shark and the alligator i want y'all to look at this okay there's little arrows here pointed up and then you got these arrows here pointed up in this alligator then you got this shark here two very dominant prominent energies both in water 
there's this vibe of it can't be two of us at the top. For whatever reason, this person feels like they're almost like in competition with you. Even if this is a love interest, it's all, oh Lord, it's all to who has control of the sea. This is an opportunist. This is even someone that I could see trying to come back into your life to uh, benefit off of what you got going on. Girl, goodbye. That's about it, y'all. Let me do a little ding ding. Because absolutely not. Mm -mm. We do not like that. One more. Ooh, one more. <laughs> uh uh. Get rid of it. I don't like it. So, yes, Pile 3, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you guys down below in the comments.